In episode 48, Black Arachnia prepares to use the Transmetal 2 driver to upgrade herself. Black Arachnia! Silverbone! No! You... <laughs> Way to go, Bowser. You just blew a decacycle of hard work. And I'm still the same old me. What in the name of the Matrix are you doing? Going transmetal. And if you hadn't disrupted the energy flow from that alien gizmo, it might have worked! Are you mad? You could have damaged yourself. Or worse. Oh, I figured if Megatron could use it to create a transmetal, so could I. It's not like I haven't... Black Arachnia! Well, what's wrong? Upon further examination, Black Arachnia's shell program has begun to deteriorate meaning the only way to save her from going insane is to sever the program. Black Arachnia is not feeling too good about the whole situation and goes off to think. I always figured if anyone survived the Beast Wars, it'd be me. Looks like I was wrong. No, you mustn't say such things. Rhinox will find a way. Trust in him. Trust isn't easy for a Predacon. You're only a Predacon because of Tarantulas. Inside, you're a Maximal. When this is over, you'll be one again. As you were meant to be. Easy for you to say. You enjoy this hero stuff. Me? I'm a bad girl at heart. Oh, I know your heart. And when I look into it, I see no evil. Only love. Sappy as always. What did I ever see in you anyway? Oh yeah, I remember. No! Before undergoing the operation, Black Arachnia gives the Ark's access codes to Optimus. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to let that spider inside my processor. Shut up, Rat Trap. Listen to him, Rat, if you value your spark. Was that a threat? Count on it. Thanks for all your help. Spare me the maximal mush and let's get the ball bearing rolling. Rhinox puts her under and begins accessing her programming. Tarantulas catches wind of the operation and informs Megatron. Since the operation is decidedly dangerous, they realize she has passed on the Ark's codes. Not only that, but Tarantulas has built safeguards into her shell program. Megatron orders an attack to try and disrupt the maximals. This is more fun than stripping a maximal circuit! <laughs> Funge over, slime bucket! Yeah, tanky, tanky, tanky. Go, sir. Crap. Rhinox is unable to save Black Arachnia when the disruption from Tarantulas cuts him off. Rhinox, what happened? Reprogramming a border. Too late. I'm sorry. Silverbolt targets Tarantulas and intends to end the bug once and for all. Black 
Silverbolt prepares to impale the spider when Rampage intervenes. This will hardly be any fun at all. Yeah, for you, Creepazoid! Black Arachnia, maximize! <laughs> Love the new look. Goodbye! You missed! And you're ugly. Black Arachnia makes short work of Rampage. Upon returning to the base, she explains what she saw when she died. Next there was this light. Then I saw Silverbolt in danger. And rushed off on your own as usual. Not a very maximal approach. Even if I'm good, I'm still bad. And still as welcome as moonlight. When I thought you were gone, I... You don't get rid of a prize like me that easy, Jojo. But if I keep having to save you, when you're trying to save me, my future may be in doubt. So, knock it off? I'm sorry. But I will ever be your champion, my lady. The way you talk. <laughs> Transmetal power. Better get used to it. In episode 49, Silverbolt is on guard duty when the Predacons begin their next plan. You will be subcommander for this mission. Dispose of the sentry and draw out Optimus Primal. We will follow. to make Megatron proud. Yes, I'm certain you will. <laughs> the alarms go off and the defenses are set in motion. Sometimes deception is the better part of valor. What? Oh. Oh. Tarantulas drills a device into Optimus, which starts to affect him. Black Arachnia returns to base to find the place empty. Then Optimus shows up. <laughs> what's gotten into you? Ah, what's gotten into him indeed. I'm glad you finally made it. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Great face. Surprise, Sugarbot! Uh, your, your voice! <laughs> I couldn't play the monkey forever, little darling.
Megatron sends Dinobot 2 after Depth Charge and has Rampage deal with Black Arachnia. Using the codes from Optimus, Megatron gains access to the Ark. Struggle as much as you like. I enjoy it. You'll enjoy this even better. What? Since when did she have psychic powers? Um, okay, we're not going to explain that. Moving on. Megatron arrives at his namesake. Oh, Megatron, greatest leader of the Decepticons. My namesake. Yours is the first chapter in the history of Cybertron. A chapter that is about to be rewritten. Something don't seem right about this, boss. Fool! Optimus gained his power from Prime Spark. Imagine what I will gain when I mingle my Spark with his. He envelops the original Megatron Spark while Tarantulas and Quickstrike begin their own plan. Megatron is dropped into the magma and Tarantulas prepares to destroy the Ark. Inferno is dealt with. Salesman is a pushy Autoguns online. No. Megatron rises from the magma as A dragon. How did he become a dragon? Wait, wait, wait. I can't explain this. Because it's cool. Optimus is saved from Quick Strike's control while Megatron deals with Tarantulas. I can suffer your treachery, Lieutenant, but not your incompetence. Treachery requires no mistakes. Megatron, no mistakes. All seems quiet when Optimus and Black Arachnia enter the Ark. Seems quiet enough. Enter the Dragon! By the Matrix! Black Arachnia tries to stop the destruction while Optimus is left at the mercy of Charizard here. <sighs> Yield, Megatron! We're all in danger! Megatron does not yield. He conquers! Black Arachnia prevents the Ark from being destroyed while Megatron prepares to finish Optimus. <laughs> Did you think you could stand against the fury of both Megatrons? <laughs> Farewell, Optimal Optimus! It seems I have again been cheated of victory. But beware! The dragon's wrath! Vengeance will be mine! Optimus laments about the whole situation. Oh, talk about a makeover. It's no joke, Rat Trap. What Megatron's done has just made it more important than ever for us to win this war. And win it soon. In the penultimate episode before the finale, we open in space with those aliens who have been causing all sorts of trouble. There has been a serious disruption in the time flow. Location, Nexus Earth. Impossible. That Nexus is closed. The experiment has been terminated. The Nexus is gone, but the danger still exists. 
If we are to restore the damage to the time flow, we must send a new mission. You know, I have to ask. Do the Valk remind anyone else of the Dream Demons from Freddy's Dead The Final Nightmare? Was it just a thing in the 90s to create creatures that look like sperm with a face? The Vox send a new Transformer to Earth where we now get the best part of the episode. Bear witness to the trial scene. Let the trial commence! <laughs> Waspinator will speak for the defense. No, Waspinator like defense. <laughs> a little more defense and maybe Waspinator not get blown up all the time. Well, looks like this is my last roundup. <laughs> Two ahead, throw Megatron in lava pit. Megatron angry, think two-head Twitter. Want to slag two-head. Was Benator down with that? Oh. Defense, take the rest. Ah, oh, brilliant as always, yes. Predacons, your verdict? Uh oh. Take it all in, folks. The series is almost over. The alarm is raised in both the Predacons base and Tarantulas's. Alien radiation discharging. All primary servants affected. Sentinel shield failing. No, not now. The object collides with the Predacon base and absolutely demolishes it. The Maximals take notice. Looks like the Beast Wars are over. For the Preds! <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you bots? We should be celebrating! That flaming hunk of space junk just solved all of our problems! That's no comet. Its power readings are off the scale. And they're alien. They're back. Just like Tarantulas always said they'd be. The Predacons are a little worse for wear when the Transformer reveals himself. of the book. Your forms changed, but I know you, Megatron. The Vok charge you with the willful disruption of time and space. Surrender to me immediately. Violence will not be tolerated. <laughs> Megatrons do not surrender. We conquer. Predacons, attack! The Predacons are easily decimated. Optimus rushes off to save Megatron, since if he dies holding the original Megatron spark, the universe is doomed. Megatron tries to hold his own, but the power of Tigerhawk is just too much. I am 
famous primal, leader of the Maximals. I mean you no harm. The Vok know you well, Optimus Primal. We'll speak when my primary programming is completed. I cannot let you destroy Megatron. His disruption of time and space must end before the damage grows greater. Destroy him, and you'll only make things worse. Interference will not be tolerated. Tarantulas manages to knock out Tigerhawk and drags him off. Megatron escapes death once more and takes flight. Cheetor, who was earlier trapped by Tarantulas, gets a dream. Tigatron, Air Razor, you're back! Must have been a huh? That's no dream. As Tarantulas begins his scheme to take control of Tigerhawk, Cheetor follows the glowing ball to Tarantulas' lair. I'll never serve one as evil as you. You have little choice. And while you deal with the Maximals, I will complete the destruction of the Ark. You can't. The time storm from such an action would wipe out your entire race. Only those descended from Autobot and Decepticon. But I and the Tripedicus Council have different origins. Under our rule, Cybertron will conquer the universe, and your precious Vok. You're insane. So they say. <laughs> Low data track scene on it, execute. Once things get underway, the Vok finally decide to intervene themselves. Something is wrong. Optimus tracks him down and the glowing ball unites with Tiger Hawk. Tigatron and Air Razor have come home. Home? Yes. This is home. I remember now. There's a lot of questions still to be answered. For all of us. But for now, welcome home. Things have changed. Uh... -huh. 